Lots of people are afraid of flying. But have you ever met someone who's afraid of trains? Sure, trains used to derail all the time way back in the day, but they're perfectly safe now. Or are they? Train! Oh, sh Keep watching at your own risk, because you may develop a deathly fear of trains yourself once you get a look at the most dangerous railways in the world. The one that goes backwards. The Devil's Nose is a train route that operates in Ecuador. The route, which, according to Ecuador Train Journeys, killed around 2,000 workers during construction, is famous not just for its amazing scenic views, but for a steep descent where the train actually goes backwards through a series of switchbacks. And until recently, they allowed passengers to experience this while riding on top of the train. That's crazy! The one with cyclones. Built in 1914, the Pombam Bridge spans a staggering 1.25 miles of ocean on the route between Chennai, India, and Pombam Island. It's also right in a major cyclone alley and is frequently battered by wind, rain, and even tidal surges. In 1964, a storm struck a passenger train crossing the bridge. The bridge was wrecked and the train overturned with an estimated 115 people on board. There were no survivors, but the wreckage of the old bridge can still be seen by train passengers. The One on a Volcano Japan's Minamiaso Railway Takamori Line boasts a unique claim to fame as it crosses the southern part of the caldera of Mount Aso, Japan's largest active volcano. Yes, that's right, the train goes through an active volcano. If that sounds like a bad idea, well, it is as proven in 2016 when a series of devastating earthquakes caused a landslide that destroyed the tracks. Repairs aren't expected to be fully completed until 2021 at the earliest, which is probably just as well. The One With No Air At its highest point, the Qinghai-Tibet Railway reaches a staggering 16,640 feet above sea level, the highest point on the planet through which a train travels. It's so high that the train has to supply oxygen to passengers. At lower elevations, it's just pumped into the cabin. But higher up, passengers have to wear oxygen tubes. Don't worry, though, because each train has a resident doctor on board, just in case. The one that goes vertical. The Pilatus Railway in Switzerland is the steepest cogwheel railway in the world. Just how steep is it? According to Pilatus' official website, the train runs up a staggering gradient of 48% on tracks that were first built in 1889. Luckily, the railway's design prevents the cogwheels from climbing out of the rack, despite the rails themselves being over 100 years old, and keeps the carriages from being thrown over by the region's tremendously high-speed winds. The One That's Underwater you might not expect to find a genuinely dangerous railway somewhere as innocuous as Devon, England, but the train line runs right up against the English Channel, leaving trains often battered by massive waves as they pass through. In fact, back in February 2014, the seawall itself was swept away, leaving rails dangling in mid-air. The line was closed for months as a result. Yikes! The one that crosses a runway New Zealand's Napier-Gisborne Railway isn't particularly out of the ordinary for most of its length, but things get weird at the Gisborne Airport, where the train crosses an active runway. When a train goes through, takeoffs and landings are put on hold, and vice versa, making it quite likely that these are the only trains in the world which have part of their route managed by air traffic controllers. The really, really high one. Called the Train to the Clouds, this Argentinian rail line earns the nickname one of the highest railways in the world, according to Argentina's Tourist Board. It crosses no fewer than 29 bridges and 13 viaducts. Perhaps the scariest is La Pavoria Viaduct, which sits at 207 feet above the ground and curves around 735 feet in length. You should probably just close your eyes and hope they're on the ball when it comes to track maintenance. Thanks for watching. Click the grunge icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.